everybody is born with a little something extra, and sometimes they just have to find it. A little something extra is that superpower that every single one of us has inside that motivates us and drives our passion and, and makes us do the things that we do. We're all on the same team. Let's think about how we can make that team as inclusive as we can. For those of you listening to our podcast right now, you can also check out our video podcast at a little something extra podcast.org. Right here, I was having extra with my mom, and of course, the DG, oh. and the Fuck Your Gianni. And we are so happy to, 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 to be here. Yeah, we are. Woo woo! We are here for another episode of A Little mm-hmm. Something Extra. And I am like so excited with our guest today, Franco. Like, Telling me. I, I can't even help it. Like, I am totally obsessed. And I can't wait to get this started. So give us a quick intro so we can start talking to yeah. our, well, our guy I'm, I'm definitely one of the ones that's a little starstruck right now and just super excited to be talking with our guest today uh, because he just did such an incredible job on the show that he was just on. So I guess I'll give a little intro so people can know who we're talking to. So we have a really special guest. We are joined by Tanner Smith and his mom, Nikki. Uh, Tanner is one of the stars from season two of Love on the Spectrum. Woo! Uh, in his own words, he is polite, he, is, he has a good personality, and he is a kind young man. Uh, he stole the show with his super upbeat personality and his love for life. He did an incredible job dating on the show, and I could pretty much guarantee that he'll be doing some more of that going into the future. So welcome to the show, Tanner. Welcome, Tanner. Thank you. And Nikki. Thank you. And you have your Thank mom, you so Nikki, much. with you. We're so grateful that you're here, too, Here's Nikki. Yes. Yes, this is so much fun to do this together. Yay. Thank you all for having me. Absolutely. Thank you, thank, thank, y'all you. Us. thank you guys for being on the show. Tanner, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. So my name's Tanner Smith. I, I graduated from Clemson Life May 30th. Mm-hmm. And now and I have a job. I work at a service hotel. And uh, and uh, um, I'm going to tell you what I do there. I clean the toilets. I wipe down the vanities. I clean the glasses. I wipe down the vanities. I vacuum the stairs halfway to the Thomas Bar. I wipe down the woods to the Thomas Bar. I bag with the blue mat. I bag with the blue mat up on the floor that goes out to the valet. And uh, I bag in the carpet under the furniture. I bag in the k- rug under the welcome desk. Good. And I put more toilet papers in bathrooms when they need more. Nice. Well, those are, you know. I'm going to tell you my friend's name, there. My oh. boss name's Miss Katrina. Okay. Charlie, my auntie, and, and Ronald, Frank, Eddie, Luke. Midge, she's my young sister. She uh-huh. works at the front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. they know and, that. And Ryan <laughs> and Zachary. Lots of good people. Yes. yes. And Lola. Lots of, we make that place go round. That's for sure. Yes. Tanner. They are lucky to have you, brother. They are lucky they are to have you. They are lucky to have me. Yeah, he works yeah. really hard. He does a great job. We can see that. I do a great job. <laughs> yes, you definitely do. So is how long have you had that job for? Yeah, how long have I had it It's for been two and a half years. It's oh. been two and a half years. It's been yeah. two and a half years. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. It sounds like you're absolutely killing it over there, too. You're doing a yeah, great yes, job. Yes, I'm absolutely killing it over there. It's an amazing place to work. The Shepherd's mission is to employ 40% um, differently abled people. Awesome. And so a lot of the Clemson Life graduates just transition smoothly into employment there. And it's just a phenomenal brainchild and a great place for people with different abilities to work. Whoa. So cool. Yeah, that is awesome. It's really, and I'm so, and it's awesome that it's connected with Clemson Life too. I know, G, do you have a question about that too? Uh, my f- my friend Emily go to that school. Emily, do you know wow. Emily? Ter- do you know Emily? What year is she, what year is she, Gigi? Uh, she's a, a senior. Emily Terzik. Emily Terzik. I do know Emily Terzik. You do? Okay. I, I, I do know. She's Gigi's friend. That's a cool that that's your Gigi's friend. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah, that is neat. That's it's, really it's cool. amazing. Clemson Life is just an unbelievable program. Absolutely. So cool. Yes. It really is. And you're and you're actually friends with someone, uh, I think you're roommates with him, actually, with someone that we had on the uh, yes. podcast a couple of months ago or last year with Frankie. Yes, Frankie. Uh, yes, yes. Uh-huh. So Frankie's been on this podcast? Yeah, we were at the uh down we were at the um down oh, to the was, convention for NDSC. It was a pop-up podcast. Year. So we had our podcast and he was there. Love it. And then me and him Love got to yes. talk a bunch. He was talking about how he plays basketball and all sorts of different stuff that you got that uh-huh. he does over yeah. at Clemson Life. Absolutely never a dull moment with oh, Mr. Yeah. Antonelli. <laughs> <laughs> That's the awesome. Best. Yeah. So what kind of stuff do you guys uh do you guys get into? You and your roommates. What do you guys like to do for fun, Tanner? 
Okay, so we like to swim in the pool in the summer. Okay. We like to do fun things with our friend Zach and our friends, yeah. And we like to go in the hot tub. We like to watch TV shows and movies. And we like we like to listen to music and hang out by the pool and uh, and go on walks our, on our day. I do it on my days off work. And we like to go out to dinner and go fishing with our friends. Whoa. You guys do all sorts of great stuff. We're good athletes. And we like to celebrate our friends' birthdays. And we like to play kickball. And yeah. whenever my friends play, play play football, I just watch them because I like to play football. Perfect. That's awesome. Hey, Mom. Hey, buddy. Yeah. What's up, Frankie? What's up, man? Oh, How okay. you doing? You <laughs> yeah, go say hi. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's good I to see you again. I think he heard his name. I think he heard his name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey, that's what happens when I hear my name too. I immediately bop right in. Yeah, come, come to the source. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. There he is flexing in the back. Tough guy. You see a tough guy back there? Yeah. That's Frankie. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes. So, Tana, you like you like the college life then? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I do like the college life. Yeah. That's awesome. It seems like a blast you guys are having. So tell me how, how did this whole love on the spectrum, how did you end up on the show? You want me to take you that guys, one? You take that one, I, Honestly, it was me. It, was, it actually <laughs> wasn't theater. I was just randomly looking at Instagram one day and saw that Northern Pictures had put up an open casting call for this area of the country. And they said they were looking for young people on the spectrum. There was an age range. And they said, just send in a picture and a brief bio. And, you know, we'll see. And I did. And they called me right back. Oh so it goodness. was really just sort of a whim and just like, oh, it'll be an adventure. Yes. Let's just to do it for fun. It'll be a way to, you know, to grow up a little bit, have totally. some new experiences, meet some new people. It'll be challenging. Absolutely. You know, and, then we just, and Tanner was on board. So we were like, let's just have some fun with this. And then once it actually happened, we felt like it was just such an unbelievable opportunity for him to spread the information about Clemson Life and the Shepherd Hotel, because we fully credit both of those entities with where he is today. And just to show that, I mean, he lives independently with roommates as That's an alumni awesome. of Clemson University. And they're out here thriving, living by themselves with, I mean, I live three hours away. I'm here today, but I don't live with him all the time. So we really just wanted his presence on the show to shine a light on that and just show that, you know, they can do it. Absolutely. And the opportunities are out there. Yeah. Well, and in the meantime, you got to go on a date with a really great girl. Yes. yes. It was great. <laughs> you are representing, brother. I'm very proud of you, Tanner. Very, yeah, very proud very of you. <laughs> Doing amazing. And, you know, I think one of my favorite parts was when I saw that your sister was working at the same place because I know my kids are so tight with Jeej, right? Yeah. Your siblings? That's yeah, very true. so that's tight with Jeej. And, uh, you know, so when I saw your sister there, I absolutely love that. Yes, yes. It's been, they're talking about Madeline working with you. I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad about it. Tell them about it. Okay, so Mitch works at the front of the Shepherd's Hotel, and uh -huh. Mitch makes the coffee. Yes. Oh, does she She's really? Yeah. Mitch is a what? Barista. Barista. Yeah. Barista. Yeah. And how old yes. is she? She, how old? Mitch is 22 now. She's 22. 22. 20. Okay, and you are how old? 25. 25. Got it. Tanner's number two of four. Yeah, I'm number two of four. Midge is number three. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, so yes, yes. We have four too. So what else do you guys have? Our oldest daughter, Taylor, is 27. She's getting married. Oh. Tanner's number two and he's 25. Obviously, everybody knows who Tanner is. <laughs> Madeline is 22 and she's a senior here at Clemson. She's a, um early education major. She's doing her student teaching right now. And then Tanner's youngest brother is Maverick and he's 18 and he's a junior in high school. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Cool. Yeah. Pretty yes, similar yes. dynamic yes. to us. Is it really? Same yeah. Age, Cause but... I'm, I'm 27 and then. Okay. I love yep, it. Yeah. There's another sister who's 20, 27 also. She's yes. uh, my adopted Wrong, first cousin. You yeah. 37? No, 27. 27. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hopefully I'm not 37. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I look 37 yeah. either. <laughs> So, yeah, we're pretty close in age, Tanner. Tanner, tell oh, tell you're Franco. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're very healthy. <laughs> so are yeah. you. Yes. So, Tanner, tell Franco what you guys have in common, what we talked about earlier with your names. Your name. Uh, okay. Can you tell him now? You can tell yeah. him now. Hey, does your name after, after your grandfather? I'm named after my grandfather, too. My full name is David Tanner Smith, and my, my grandfather, my, my mom's dad, his name is David, too. That's amazing. See? Wow, we got yeah, a lot. We got a lot in Deemer, common, Deemer. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. That's so cool. We have so much in common. We both yeah. have we really <laughs> awesome names named after our grandfathers. 
That's yeah. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. That's so cool. Does it feel like an honor? Do you feel like you're like serving his legacy well? Yes, I do. I do. You do. Are, and you really are. What does that mean, Mom? That means that you're honoring him by the way you live. That's right, Mom. Okay. And you definitely do. That's right, because yes. Papa's in heaven now. He is. He is. And you're right. You definitely yes. do a good job. In it. You definitely okay. do an amazing job. You yes. should be very, very he proud. Is. Hey, Tanner, oh, yeah. what do you think is your most interesting talent or skill? What do you think you do really well? I because I, I spread joy all around the world. <laughs> yes, you do. That I can feel. The first time I saw you, when Franco told me about you, because I, I didn't know anything about Love on the Spectrum, and Franco was the one who told me. Mm -hmm. He goes, Mom, uh -huh. you have to watch this. And when you said that, I, when Franco had told me, you got to meet this kid, Tanner. You Watch Tanner. And I was blown away. You do spread joy all over the world. You stick with yeah. what you say. I love it. You are amazing. Yeah. Wait, what did I say, Mom? No, you just say thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And it, 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 it's very true because I watched season one and season two. I mean, I absolutely love Love on the Spectrum and everything that uh, – how, how do you say the the director's name? Is it Cian or – Kyan? Cian? We – Kian. Kian, yeah. Kian. Everything that he's mm -hmm. doing just with this show, I think it's absolutely incredible. And, and what it's doing for just the autism community and the disability community in general. I mean, it's shining so much incredible light. And Tanner, you are so spot on with the fact that you're spreading joy to the world. Yeah. I mean, every single time you were on the screen, I was just smiling ear to ear. Me and my girlfriend just absolutely oh, so love nice. you, man. You're you're the you greatest me. guy. Thank you. Thank you. That You're welcome. Awesome. So, yes, I, I told my mom, I was like, we need to do everything that we can to try to get Aww. Tanner and his mom on the podcast uh, because That's I think so that – of course, you're spreading joy through your show on Netflix, but we wanted to see if we can get a little bit of your joy spread through our podcast as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I just had a question of uh, for Tanner. What was it like uh, going on that first date and getting ready for it? Was it? It, it was great. It was great going on that first date. Were you I, nervous? I, no, sir. No, ma'am. I was not nervous. I he love, you know, no, what? I, I don't get nervous a lot. No, but you did amazing. <laughs> only, and only you, her. I do get nervous. No. Yeah. Thank you, Gigi. She likes it. You know, I do. yes, I, I do, do too. <laughs> but I loved the way you listened to that coach when you went to that coach. And that Me you, too. you were so good and so respectful in listening to her yes, I side. Was. I know. I loved it. I loved, first of all, I, I did Thank love the you. coaching, but I just loved your follow through with it. So I just thought that Thank was you. amazing. Yes. The date looked you did do awesome. Thank you. Thanks. You did a great job. I did a great job. Of, of practicing what Miss Jennifer told you. I did. Yes, I did, did. Mom. Yes, I yeah. did. did. I did. Great job. I thought Jennifer Cook was an amazing part of the show. I yes. think she has a real gift. And I just was so appreciative of the way she helped him, being that I wasn't here. Yeah. At that time, she was just a great support system for him and yeah. did an incredible job. Incredible job. And just yeah, she's a neat, neat lady. Yes. All I, I think that all men should get that coaching before they go out. <laughs> I agree. Every one of them in the world. <laughs> it was true. I mean, you did such a good job yeah. in the way that you – were such a great listener and you asked so many questions because I could tell you this. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you're, you. You're welcome. Because I could tell you a lot, like a lot of my friends when they've gone on dates and I've just like heard from girls mm -hmm. um, talk about the fact that they'll go on a date and a guy just talks about himself the entire time or they never ask yeah. any questions about the girl. And you did such a good job in making sure that Thank she you. felt heard. Thank you. Totally. You asked a lot of questions. I, did, I asked a lot of questions. <laughs> That's okay. You did. That's what you're supposed to do. You, that's how you can learn about someone. And Gigi has a question she wants to ask. Go ahead, Gigi. What do you want to ask? How do you meet your girlfriend? Or how did you meet oh. his girlfriend Kate? or Kate? Kate. Kate. That Kate or is the current girl? So is there anybody right now in your life? I don't know how the show goes. Is it always, is it like present day or is it pre-recorded? It was how about actually the beginning of 23. It was a year ago. Okay. okay. Right now. So how about yeah. you, instead of how did you meet your girlfriend, are you still talking to Kate? Are you still talking to Kate? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm still texting with Kate. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, tell, them, guys... tell, them a little bit more. tell them a little bit more about you and Kate's relationship now. Okay. So, can I tell them about when we went to the zoo? Yes, yes. When I was on Cruises break, me and my mom went in Columbia with Kate and her mom, Miss Kelly, to dinner at Chick-fil-A. Uh -huh. And with her other friends, Leela and Anne. And then we went to the zoo in columbia 
and we went to see the Chris Lights at the zoo in Columbia. Right. We did have an outing with Kate over Christmas. Yeah, we had an outing with Kate over Christmas. I was, you guys text a good bit. Yeah, we, yeah we do text a good bit. But yeah. what would you say your relationship status is? Because I think that's what they really want to know. We're just good friends. We're just good friends. Yeah. yeah. Right. And nice. you really guys have a really good friendship. Don't anyway, you? Yes, ma'am. We have a really good friendship. Yes. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. sometimes that's how relationships go. You're not going to just be able to date Perfect. everyone. Sometimes you're just... Can't, can't just date everyone. I can't date everyone. Nope. <laughs> exactly. No, but that's the thing. So yeah, you make good friends out of it. That's awesome. The fact that's that right. you did. That's is... right. I make good friends out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool part about dating. Yeah. If you can make that yeah, happen. We... Some people aren't good at that, but you definitely are. That's right. That's right. And we figured out after production that we had a ton of mutual acquaintances. They only Very live cool. about 40 minutes from us. And so it's been a very nice friendship since. And they, they stay in touch and we do like outings when we can. Yeah. That's very cool. You, I think, Nikki, yeah. with you, the one thing I loved, love, 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 just parent to parent, when you yeah. talked about, you know, when, when you get the diagnosis and then you yes. spent so many years trying to fix it, so many years yep. trying to do the right thing. And when you finally let that go is when mm -hmm. you really saw him grow. That and, was, yeah. That I, was so awesome. I like that was such a bold and brave statement because we do want to, you know, we know we can't change it, we know, but, but we feel like we can help make it better. And, and, right. and, and, and by doing whatever it is that we can possibly do. So I thought that was Absolutely. so brave, such a great statement and, and something that I think all parents can relate to. Well, and I feel like for me, what, what I was really, the point of like that whole statement it was that there wasn't anything to fix. There wasn't a solution to be found. Yeah. It was about embracing who we are and what already is and making it the best it can possibly be totally. and letting that situation play out and letting go of trying to control everything. Totally. That was really like my message in that statement because yep. it was such freedom for my heart as a mom. And it just helped me to truly be able to enjoy Tanner and just appreciate him for who he is and how he's made. And then all of a sudden, when I just let all that pressure go, yeah, it was like the, the development and the rate of maturity and the acquisition of skills just took off like a rocket. And it was, I really think it was a heart change, you yeah. know, right. for on my part, really helped him to relax and just be his best. Right. And it was so good for our relationship because it is, it's, and you know, you're oh, yeah. a mom. Totally. Same situation. You feel this tremendous pressure, like you're so responsible for having the answer, for totally. having the best outcome, right. for finding all the right, you know, every, every single treatment or therapy that you should do. And I started realizing what we just really need is to be celebrated and to be loved. And isn't that true for everyone? Right. Absolutely. I mean, isn't that for yeah. every kid? You just have to love them for who they are and let them grow and develop into what God intended for him or her to be. Absolutely. And just appreciate that individual. And I think for the longest time, I was feeling like I had to... I had to, you know, hit some goal that there really was no defined goal. Right. It was just, not just relaxing and just enjoying this beautiful person that I have. Well, and I when know. I started doing that, it happened. Yep. I do think too, and that, and not your fault, because like what happens is there's these milestones, these places you have to get yep. them to, you know, from the time they're little, right. you know, when Gigi was born, it was like, there was, you know, there was this laundry list of things that could happen to her and that might happen to her. But you know, when a typical right. baby's born, we don't tell them, oh, they might, yes. they might have ADD, they might have social anxiety, yeah. they might have this. But a typical, you know, baby with Down syndrome, where you get another diagnosis when you get there, you hear everything that could possibly happen in their lifetime, yes. and that's a heavy weight for parents. And I think that that's exactly. why we we sit there as parents and just try to fix it because we don't want Absolutely. them to have to to go through all of that. And I think it was, it was just so beautiful when you said that. We just recently had a, um, one of our parents say, you know, she had a prenatal diagnosis of Down syndrome, and she was talking about mm -hmm. how, you know, she had prayed for the perfect baby. And, you know, it took her, a, you know, a, you know, to see her actual baby to go, I have the perfect baby. Yes, I love that. Baby. Oh, yes. my gosh, I what love that. What is, is perfect? And that, yeah. Exactly. What yeah. is perfect anyway? And that. The really amazing thing to me is now that Tanner is 25 and has done almost every single thing I was told he might Wouldn't not ever do, right, do or right. not be possible in his life has actually happened. You know, and I'm realizing, you know, there, there, there's no magic formula for happiness. Happiness is an inside job. Yeah. And like contentment and purpose in life 
and the impact and the energy you give to other people that comes from within totally. and it has nothing to do with what you're diagnosed with. Yep. You know, yep. it has to do with what you give really, not yeah, what you take or what you fix, but with what you right. give. Oh, yeah. Right. And, mm-hmm. and I feel like all, not just Tanner, all of the wonderful, amazing young people that we've met through Clemson life. And then have come into some of whom are autistic. Some of them have a lot of them have downs and Williams syndrome and other diagnoses. Every one of them is magical. I mean, Absolutely. magical. Yeah. And they have brought so much to our lives. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine without them. And I wouldn't change one of them. Not one you of know? them. I, I said, our kids are sent here to teach and to love. Uh-huh. That is Absolutely. And we're so grateful. And Tanner, you have so much love to share, first of all, and so yes, much I to do. Teach. Yes, I do. I see it, brother. I feel it. Even as I'm watching you and I'm sitting on my couch, <laughs> I feel your love. Oh. I really do. <laughs> I feel your love. I feel your joy. So, and and thank you for sharing it with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad I got to share it with you. I'm glad. Yeah. We are too. Well, it's so amazing too because you. One of the best ways being able to like show love and compassion is being able to just be so attentive, and just caring so much. So, have have you always been like that, Tanner? Just someone who always listens and just you know always is so respectful and such a gentleman. Yes, I think I have. Yeah, I believe that. I, I would agree. Yeah. yeah. You've always been very loving. I have. Yes, I have. Very, yeah. very sweet. I have always been very, very loving. Very tenderhearted. And yeah. very tenderhearted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He Do, has been. And Nikki, does that have something to do like when you were uh, just when the fam- like when you were raising Tanner or just with the family? Was that something like that was always an emphasis? We were, we were really, I, I would say, blessed in that Tanner was, he never lost his language. He was diagnosed at four Mm -hmm. and we started noticing signs around two and a half that probably something was, you know, developing a little differently. And, but it was a real blessing for our situation. He never lost language. So he was always able to tell us what he was feeling Mm -hmm. or, you know, what was going on. And he was, he was always, um, he didn't talk for, there was a few years there where he didn't talk as much to other people, but he would always talk to family, to me and mom. And his siblings, and I will say his older sister Taylor was like a second mother to him. And oh, they are, they're all my, all the sibs are very, very tight in our family. But Taylor really took on a very nurturing maternal role. Oh, so, and yeah, has always been very physically expressive. You like pressure, don't you? Like you like pressure. tight yes, hugs. Like He's always <laughs> pressure. He loves a tight hug. Like, yeah. You, when you like when he met me in the parking garage today, you know, I think I got a little chiropractic adjustment. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we'll take it all day long. Yeah, all day show long. that love, man. Absolutely. That's just, oh, and that's, I think, just part, like, Tanner's just very transparent. What you see is what you get. Totally. Very loving, very sweet, very um, attached to his people. Absolutely. So, yeah, I would say that loving, sweet nature has always has always been a part and parcel of who he is. And it's just gotten more as more skills have developed. Totally. I love that. Yeah. I know you have yeah. another question, Gigi. What do you got? It's so funny. Gigi always sits there. She's like, she has all these She's waiting for her up. questions. And she's like, my like, mom and my brother and they're never all shut talking. up. <laughs> she's like, this she's is my used podcast, to it. This is our house. Constantly talking. Yeah. Well, you know, with four kids, like you're lucky well, if you get a chance girls. to talk. Yes. Girls, you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gigi. All right, Gigi. Have at it. I have Down syndrome and my boyfriend has autism, just like you and Kate. What oh. is what is like dating Kate? Well, they're not dating anymore. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, but, yeah. That one. but right. like that that, that type of relationship, though. Sorry. The fact that she had Down syndrome, and that you have autism. I think it works well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I think it looks well. Yeah. I thought so too. I thought you guys look great together too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. Tell them about your most of your roommates have had what diagnosis? Most, M- of, most of my roommates have had diagnosis. What? Wait, no, which one? <laughs> Which one Frankie and Blakely, and Frank. what do they all have? Sam and uh, no, what do they what what do they all have? What's their disability? Down syndrome. Down syndrome. I yes. saw that. Mm-hmm. Right. Sorry, Mom, I don't know what if he has autism. Sam. Oh no, it's okay. No, they, but we're saying we've had a lot of very close relationships. Hey, with, told me Sam has autism. Okay. You know what? With I Down thought, syndrome. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought and it's, it's an interesting dynamic, and I, and you really brought it up. He really brought it up on their date when he was talking yes. about how much 
he likes to talk and he likes somebody who likes to talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the beauty in what I saw when Gigi started dating her boyfriend with autism is that they both mm -hmm. helped each other because she oh, yeah. is of less words. He has a lot of words. Or, and then yeah. he also has, you know, some, you know, everybody has things that, that they need help with. And I saw the way that the autism and the Down syndrome complemented each other. You know, he oh, helped great. her with her speech and articulation and talking more. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. helped him be more patient and, and really helped him in different ways that he needed some help. So I love I, watching the dynamics mm -hmm. of those relationships because they're so beautiful and pure. It's just Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. No, but I agree. I think it's actually in a really, really healthy dynamic. When you say you have really enjoyed your roommates with Down syndrome, yes, those I have. are some of oh, your yeah. very best friends. All right, yeah. Mom. I think that the way the two, you know, typically present is a real compliment to totally. each other. Where yeah. Tanner will kind of tend to have some more struggles with anxiety, yes, don't you sometimes and yeah. getting, you know, worrying about things. Sure. And his Down syndrome friends hey, me, typically Mom. sometimes when you get anxious and yeah. then so you're because you know, I'm always happy. Right. Don't as much. Yeah. Right. right? And that you kind of help each other out. Right. Yes. You, balance things. you were talking about articulation yes. and all that. One of his best friends, and that's a, more of an issue for him. Mm -hmm. And Tanner, but he would tell Tanner what to say. I don't have this kind of person. You know, I don't have this body like Eeyore does. No, you don't. No, <laughs> you're not like Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I think it's, I was actually so excited when I heard that Kate had Down syndrome. Yeah. Because I, so we knew nothing about the date until it happened, basically. Right. Mm. I was like, okay. oh, that's interesting. I think that's going to be a great match. Yeah. So I was very pleased. I thought that was a great thing that they did. Yeah. It's been, it's been, I mean, how, well, you could talk about your relationship. I don't need to talk yes. about how long you guys been together. We were dating, we were dating 15 months. 15 oh, months. Oh, wow. Months Quite, yeah. a yeah. Quite a long yes. time. Quite a long time. Yes, and you know yeah. what, Tanner? He's quite a gentleman, just like you. He opens the That's door. Good. He opens the door for her, right? Ooh. I'm his princess. That's great. She, yep. You are tell me. Yep, tell no, him again. Tell you're, I, I'm his princess, so he opened my door for me. Yes. Oh, I love that. She's a yes. princess. Uh huh. That is so nice that every girl should feel like a princess. I love yes. that. Yes. You are his princess. Yep. Yes, and you definitely did a good job with with making Kate feel like that. I'm sure. Tanner. Yes, you Thank did. You. I open. I open, I open his door too. You like to open his yeah. door oh, too. You like to be yeah. a nice. He's my prince. <laughs> He's your no. prince. Oh, how about that? <laughs> wow. I love it. Yes. I love it. Yes. It's a very special relationship. It's been pretty cool watching it all kind of unfold. Uh, and again, you don't, so, you know, Nikki, you don't, you know, it, it's those things you don't expect. Never, right. you know, that everyone told you, you know, like, oh, and I remember, yeah. Paul, I remember my, my husband saying, well, you know what? She'll be with us, you know, forever. So Christmas will always be, Santa will always be here and this and that. And then, no, I mean, she has aspirations to be married. She has, you know, there is a different life that she's looking for out there. Mm -hmm. I know. It's wild. It Never is wild. Mm -hmm. Fabulous to sit back and watch it happen. Yes. It really is. What a gift from God. We have a couple sure. names. Me and him. Okay. Well, we're not going to go into the Gigi and Lucas guys, relationship. Guys, we could talk about other things. <laughs> They hear, it can very uh, easily turn into the Gigi and Lucas show. Oh, yeah. so and we our will podcast guests sure hear more than enough about that. Yes. So I, think I, we could, I would ask you uh, last you got, one. Yeah, we want to know more about them. Yes. What inspires you spread joy to everyone? Because it makes people feel good. And it makes them feel good about themselves. And it makes them want to be my friend. And it makes them, um, what else are you doing? Whatever you say. Yeah. And, 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 and it makes them happy. True. Makes me happy. You always make me happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's absolutely true. What is your favorite moment from the show? Oh, good question. Oh, favorite moment from the show. Uh, the, the restaurant of uh, the restaurant and the zoo. Oh, very cool. The date. Let me Both ask you that. What you know when you guys were walking out in the rain and the umbrella was kind of getting like it was sinking a little bit. Uh -huh. What what were you thinking about that? Were you thinking anything about it? What do you mean, Mom? Like when the umbrella wouldn't, like, you know how the umbrella was kind of closing on uh, That was my favorite part, I have to tell you. <laughs> From the whole show. I love that. <laughs> I've watched it multiple times. See if I was thinking about something? Yeah, like when the umbrella was closing, were you worried about it or did you not notice? I did not notice. You didn't notice? Okay, were you focused on Kate? Yeah, I was focused on okay. Kate. <laughs> I was so so much. That's good. And as Kate so went so walking good. away, it was kind of closing on her head. Even nope. More. Yeah. They were in heaven. They didn't care what was happening in that moment. Mm -mm. I actually have an acid I'm like, did you notice? <laughs> <laughs> nope, it so didn't great. matter in that moment. Nope. They were in that place. Yeah. That's oh, so funny. That was so good. 
Yes, yeah. you had a lot. You had a lot of really, really incredible moments in the show. Just really a lot of stuff moment. that stuck that, out. I love that was some good camera work too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> some oh, yeah. really good camera work. One of the ones that I was, I was curious about. Right when you started off, when you were introducing yourself, um, why did you ask? And they look fantastic today, by the way. Your uh-huh. eyebrows. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they do look exactly. great. Why? Yeah. Lizzie. Why did you ask about your eyebrows when you were doing your interview? Because I, I wanted them to know if my eyebrows were beautiful and pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were. They were. They were. And that's, that's why. Yep. They were. I can appreciate they that. Yes. They definitely yeah. could. He's an eyebrow guy, too. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to make sure that your face looks right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I, I just wanted to make sure my face looks right. Yeah. Yes. No, no you look why. great. It certainly very, very Thank dapper. you. And, and you never know what's going to turn into a great tagline, but there right? it was. <laughs> yes, I know. It was. It just stuck out to me. I thought it was so good. And now we've so got good. every esthetician, you know, buying his hats, which is fabulous. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you always look good. Uh, Thank you. I know you have a couple other ones, Jeej, because I, I, Jeej kind of took all the questions from me when it comes to asking about you, Tanner. So well, she, she, she's got you. all of them now. She watched your stuff and she had made up her own questions and then she stole from I love it. Because they were the so. same. Yes. Can I ask Can I ask one of them? Sure. Okay. So Tanner, what would your dream date look like? Ooh. Go to the beach and go to a museum. Oh. Go to the beach and go to a museum. All right. Tell him that. Hey, I, I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because I flew in the ocean and I, I did and I too. And I like dinosaurs and I like holy mammoths and saber tooth tigers and yes. cavemen. Okay. I love those two. It's like my favorite era. You are speaking of his language right here. You I'm glad I'm glad to speak your language. Yes. Too. Oh, yeah. I, I'm nice like all that stuff too. What's what's your favorite uh, dinosaur then? I know what your favorite T Rex. I knew from the show. I already knew. He knew too. <laughs> I just wanted to check in, see if it changed since then. It's my favorite's the Velociraptor. So I mean, I wanted to. Good choice. That's a good choice. That's a, That's very a good cool choice. choice. That's mm-hmm. a good choice. That's okay. a very cool choice. Yeah. What's yours? Indominus Rex. The Indominus T-Rex. Rex. Oh, Gigi's Indominus. pulling out the Jurassic oh. World stuff. <laughs> You'll have to show me. I don't know if I know what that. I don't. I don't know if that one actually exists. <laughs> I think they made it up in the movie, but oh, I th- he thinks it does. Yeah, in Jurassic like, World. Yeah. Oh, does Jurassic it? World. That's another bad one. In Jurassic World. There yes, sir. Go. Yes, sir. That's another bad one in Jurassic World. There yes, that's the one Gigi's talking about. Gigi's one of her favorite movies. My favorite movies I like is yeah. a good movie. Gigi's yeah. favorite movie is Jurassic World. I'm not scary. Anything. The movie. Nope. Not. I'm, nope. I'm brave. Yeah. Oh, when we saw the I second one in theaters. I'm glad you like Jurassic World. Yeah, yes. it's so watch good. that one with you. For sure. Yeah, I will watch that one with you. Oh, awesome! <laughs> hey, what is your that. What is your favorite movie? The Empress New Groove. Oh, that's a good that's one. Such a good answer. That's a good one. <laughs> I love it so much. That's like one of my favorite movies ever too. You can, are you guys I'm twins? So I'm I don't know. I, I, well, I knew when I saw when I saw him on the show. I was like, I know that me and Tanner would get along really well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a feeling. Why Why is your favorite The Emperor's New Groove? Because it's so cool how um, he transforms into a llama. He does yes. transform so into cool. a llama. It's just the yeah. it is the best part about it. Just the entire yeah. concept of the entire movie is is about yeah. as good as it gets. <laughs> That's very true. I love Kronk too. Kronk's character is oh, the Kronk. best. Oh yeah, I love and Kronk Isma. too. That's a unique name. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't know anybody else named Kronk. I don't either. I don't, never, <laughs> yep. It's a good nickname. Almost we got Frank. And Kronk. Yeah. It's very close. Kronk and Kronk. Yes. Kronk and, uh, it's close. So you ride with Kronk and Kronk. Yep. Yes, it does. It's true. <laughs> you can go with that. I'll be Kronk from now on. So I'm going to ask you guys both a question. So our okay. podcast is called A Little Something Extra. And where all of them. Where is just where is just an extra? That is my question to them. What do you guys think is your A Little Something Extra? We're all born with something extra. What do you think is your something extra? What drives you? What's your superpower? What would you say? What's your superpower? Autism. 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 Oh, autism. oh I like it. Mm-hmm. Autism, autism is your superpower. What does autism make you? Autism makes me special and unique. It sure right. does. Can I add one more word to that? Awesome. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, awesome. Like yep. <laughs> yes, awesome it is. Awesome. And thank you for saying that. I, I love that you're that's welcome. your something extra and that you're proud of that. That's perfection. I think you have perfection. What about you, Nikki? What is your something extra, girl? Honestly, I think I'm a motivator. 
I think I, that is really, I think, what I was born to do. I teach awesome. fitness classes, and okay. I did personal training for a while. And I really feel like if I have a gift, that's probably it. And then, of that's course, awesome. being a mom of four, yeah, and yeah. especially being a mom, I mean, that's basically being a glorified cheerleader. Right. You know, you spend your whole life yep. going, you can do it, you can do you it, do it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think, and I honestly, I really enjoy, like, finding what makes people tick. Yes. And then bringing it out in them. Absolutely. And I really, I, I get a little high out of watching people achieve their potential. Exactly. I love it. I'm like, yep. you know, when you're training somebody and they get their first on their toes push up or somebody gets yes. their first pull up. Totally. It's the most exciting totally. thing. And just to watch Tanner, all my children, yeah. you know, through things and be brave and do things that they didn't think they could do. And even just the normal things, you yeah. know, the milestones. So I love it. I, I just love watching the movie of people's lives. Yes. And being awesome. in the background going, come on, let's go. Let's you go. Got you got this. this. Yep. Yes. Yep. So motivation. I love That's that. Good. That's really a good motivation. answer. I love that. Oh. I really love, love it. A great that's answer. pretty uh-huh. similar with with you too and with me i love seeing people just achieving yeah. their potential well, and that's, that's the greatest that's thing what we do like we empower people we give them all the yes. tools they mm-hmm. need to succeed like that's what ggs is like that's what well we this do. is incredible what you're doing this isn't it crazy is- nikki we started yeah. when she was a baby with just I one location it. and really my goal was you know i i i was worried about my other kids and what people were going to say right. you know to sure. them and, and how, what their life was going to be like so i wanted to just build a place where individuals with Down syndrome could be accepted and embraced and celebrated, you know, and, and never dreaming. I mean, we open our 59th location in Las Vegas, Vegas, baby, right next week, 59th location. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. And we, is it, thank you. And, and literally we, everything we do is free, free one-on-one tutoring, literacy, math, speech therapy, physical therapy, career, everything is free still from, you know, from the beginning, it was like, everyone said, you're not going to be able to do it. And just again, you know, being in power, empowering people and then them empowering yes. me, we have been able to yeah. do it. And we're going to continue to and do it. And it's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible to really feel down or bad when that's your mindset. Exactly. You know, like when that's your mindset is that, you know, you're lifting other Without people up. It takes yes. you out of your own head. 100. It takes you out of your own problems. Yes. And all of a sudden you start seeing that, you know, that there's a purpose for every situation. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, that's where she was born. Yeah. You know, that's why. So your, your family collectively would do all this good in the world. And it's amazing. It's I amazing know. to sit back and watch it. Totally. It like, is. yeah, there's a higher power guiding this whole thing. Gigi and I are just sitting in the driver's seat, like going, oh, Vegas. Okay, here we're going. We yeah. never know where we're going, but we're going. Mm-hmm. Right? We got, I, that's we got, a, we got the other one. What? Oh, oh, well, you have. Oh, 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 okay. Then one. after Vegas, we open, oh, yeah. after that, we open in Simi Valley, which is right outside of LA. So yeah, so we've, so cool. and then oh, Charleston and Portland. It. Yeah, so we've got a lot of openings coming up, don't we? A lot. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a gift from God for sure. But it's hard, but I can do it, so. It's hard, but she can do it. She speaks at every opening. I mean, she's Without a doubt. making it happen. Hey, do you like, Tanner, do you like the national anthem? Yes, ma'am, I do. Do you know Jeej has sang the national anthem at the Cubs game? And at the I'm, Sox I'm so, game? That's so cool, that's so cool. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. That is awesome. In front of 40,000 people. Oh, I bet. Right. Were you nervous? Gigi, were you nervous? No. Only her. Get no. Nervous. I She's was nervous. She's just like Tanner. Wasn't nervous. She wasn't nervous at all. Mom, mom was very nervous. Because, because, oh, no. because her phone was pinging on my ears. Because my phone. Fo- well, she had an ear. She was using my ear pods to look at yeah. her vocal uh-huh. coach. And I never turned the sound off. So as she's singing in front of 40,000 people, everyone's like, holy sh. Look, G just sing. So they're all texting me. And so in her ear, she hears ping, 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 ping. Yep. Constantly yep. hearing it. She takes them out and then just does it acapella. Nothing like yeah. setting is- your kid up to fail. Yeah. I think <laughs> fail, mom, fail again. That's like, something, that's like something I would do. Totally. Like, oh, whoops. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Guess I should have hit silent. Yeah. Yeah. My You're bad. Great, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm so crazy. Is, I'm doing it again awesome. at the Cubs game again. She's going to sing at the Cubs game, and she's opening up for a country oh, we'll concert. we'll try to figure out some other place yeah. so we can get you in. Yeah, we'll get too. you. Yep. You have your main question, though, that you always ask when you do podcasts. Oh, Which main question. That? Oh, here it goes. Listen. If you have one message to the world, what would it be? One yeah, message Life to the world. Life is good. Woo! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Life is good. I cannot agree more, Tanner. You did not even think especially, about that one. I love yes, it. Yes, especially with yeah, you in it. Life was, is very yeah. good. He was like, I got this. Man. Yep, life is good. It is good. It is good. It? Yeah, it is good. And it's been very exciting. Like, it, it has been very exciting. Been very yeah, exciting. how has... Yeah. How has uh, how has life changed since since season two came out? 
I have lots of people that who know my name and, and, and want to talk to me. Wow. Yes. A That's lot. That's huge. And what else is that very big? What your my my my, the, my technology? Right? Yes, exactly. Like Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. Got really big. Those got really big. What else have you got? A lot of what opportunities? I've got a lot of, a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think <laughs> lots of opportunities, I'm sure. And I, it's just so great too that you've been able to have your platform blow up so much. In the fact that your favorite thing to do is spread joy to the world. Yes. So now you have all these people that you could spread joy to that can help you share that message. We yes, sir. They can. We've had a yes. lot of fun make, just making videos and coming up with, and it's just been we. It's been so simple. We've yeah. had such. A, we don't really. We're very amateur. Yeah. You know, just a simple. But it seems to be speaking to people's hearts, and that's all we could ever that's want. Exactly. You know, just like letting just that very real, raw. This is who we really are. We're just average everyday people, you know. Yeah. With an amazing how it's resonating. You yeah. know, so that's been really that's been really, really gratifying, you know, just to see how many people are responding to him and that he's having, you know, some having a, a positive impact in their life. That's yes. so sweet. Without and you just it's almost hard to put it into words. And for me, I think the most just like it makes me cry. Um like I, I can't I've lost count how many messages I've gotten in my DMs from other moms talking about, you know, my child is five, I'm in the thick of it, we're eight, you know, mine is eight years old or mine is four and we're in the thick of speech therapy and OT and I don't know what to do and I don't know what's next, but seeing him at 25 doing so well. And I'm like, girl, I was there, yes. I did it. I got that this. Years that were so hard and I, I, re I know how you feel. I mean, that's all we could have ever wanted for the show yeah. to do. I mean, yes. just that some yes. young, sweet mama who's feeling really down will see this and be like, it's possible. I got Let's this. keep going. Yes. Yeah, it's possible. I can do it. Yeah. You know, and they can and they can, yes. you know. Yes. So, and I, I love that. I love that that's happening. It's so huge. It's yeah. so well, important. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she deserves those kisses. You got a good mama there. Yes, I'm a good mama. Yes. Good mom. Nikki, what I'll would your you. message, if you had one message to the world, what would that be? Honestly, I would, you can do it. Like, no matter what it. you, yeah. about, not just that simple, no matter yeah. what you get, it can be done. Yes. It can be done if you have to put in the work. Yeah. And you have to have the right mindset. Because I will very much freely admit that I, I was doing all the right things. Like, I mean, I was certainly chasing down every therapy. I was talking to every specialist. Yeah. I was you know, pursuing every intervention that I possibly could, but my mindset wasn't really where it needed to be. It was still in this operating from a place of fear, yeah. from a place of sadness, from a place of frustration, from a place of feeling like I had something that I had to get done and not just from a place of this is what I was given. Now do something great with it. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. 100%. And, and like, but that, and that for me, like, you know, take a good, hard look at yourself and see what, what is your mindset? What is your motivation really? And whatever you're facing, whether that's a special needs child, a divorce, a, you know, a financial loss, whatever it is, but you can do it, Totally. but you just have to dig your heels in and get your mind in the right place. And it can be done. Exactly. Um, and if Tanner's taught our family, anything, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, like, and, and don't ever underestimate God's plan for your life because Boy, will he surprise you. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. He'll surprise you. Yes. Yeah. I think Tanner might have uh, taught a couple million people that now. So yes. out of you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He will blow your mind if you yep. just sit back and, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I'm so no, happy no. that you were able to to get the platform um, that Kian was able to get to create for you guys because it's so important. And I think that. One of the things that I always say is that there's not um, – the, the reason that there is uh, just this lack of inclusion in the world now is not because people want to be doing that, but it's because of a lack of understanding. I and, agree. And I think that through shows like Love on the Spectrum and, and all these different shows that are happening now with people with disabilities being able to get a platform, people are seeing that yeah. there's so much value. Mm -hmm. And that Absolutely. it's not, there shouldn't be as much of a disconnect as there actually is. It's just because people don't know where that entry point is. And I think by being able to watch things like this show and being able to see that, yes, there's relationships and there's great friendships that people aren't as hesitant. And there's joy. And joy. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that, and that, I had watched the Australian seasons and season one mm. and was you know, highly impressed with the way I know there's some of it's controversial, but not to me. I love the way they present mm -hmm. autism yeah. and, yeah. the and the way they, 
you know, um, just show their capabilities and their struggles. Because yes. I feel like, you know, most people with a heart, when you see someone struggle, you're going to develop compassion for them. Yes. And you're going to see them in a more human way. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I love it that they show both sides of the coin. You know, they're actually really good, maybe better than the typical person at this aspect of dating. But maybe this aspect is a little bit harder for them. And once you've seen that in real time, it gets etched in your brain. Hey, they're just like me. They're right. just playing it out a little bit differently. Yep. Yeah. And so, you know, and even like recently we went, well, he's done it a lot, but we went and read a story at the school where my other children go. And I was like, for all these little second graders that Tanner spent an hour with reading to and then interacted with and answered questions, now they know an autistic adult. Yeah. And to them, that's just a nice, a really nice a adult nice guy. To ask yeah. the story and, and, you know, interacted with them and answered their questions and took pictures and they had fun. So right there, there's normalization. You yes. know, there's inclusion. There's, you know, a way for them to think of, oh, so they meet somebody else who's autistic or another child their age. It isn't scary. It isn't different. It isn't bad. Oh, I know Mr. Tanner. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Whatever. Yeah, you right. know, and that's what we want. We want to get to that whatever. Yes, <laughs> you totally. Know? Like, doesn't, totally. You know, that's just who you are, and I'm just who I am, and yep. we can all roll together. It's all good. <laughs> so, it's all good. Like, absolutely. No, you guys so, are the best. I'm so I happy that you, with everything that has come to you guys and everything that you've now given Thank to the world. So too. Thank you. It's amazing. Yeah. So, and then Tanner, hold on. I got one okay. thing too, because I, I know that she would just love to be able to hear this. So my, my girlfriend oh, absolutely yes, adores you. Like oh, adores you. So, <laughs> so can you just give a quick shout out to, uh, to Sammy? That's her name. Sammy is cute and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Well, now I don't know if I can't show. I don't know if I can show this to her. You're gonna steal her. <laughs> Mr. Steal your girl. Watch Mr. out. Mr. Steal right. your girl. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That's so cool. It's yeah. so cool. It is. I wish I could meet her. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. will someday. Hope, I have hopefully a feeling someone, you will. Because I would love. I'd love to be able to meet you in person. I really would. Oh, yeah. Me too. Me too. That Maybe would be we'll great. Be in the City at some point. Yes, you're. Yeah, you ever get to Chicago? You ever come visit your relatives? We're right here, girl. Yes, and, and we really we'll look you up if we do. For we sure, really yeah. that'd be amazing. Yeah. Let us know, please. For, yes, we'd love to be able to show yeah. you Gigi's, and I'd love to just be able to show you what's to do in Chicago too, because I'm also yes. a big fisherman. So if you're into fishing, we can maybe do. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'd love to to go fishing with you one day. Yeah, with my friend, I like fishing by myself. It's boring. Right, but yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Trust, I agree. So that's why I'm, I need someone to uh, go fishing with me because no one else will. So yeah, yeah, sir, yeah, sir, yeah. We could go to Chicago and visit Bo sure. Morgan and Ooh, find Bronco. Bo find you at Bronco. Yeah, <laughs> we I'd love it. Would love that. It'd be awesome. Your name is a fun name and a unique name. You like his name? Yeah, I like your name. It's a fun name and a unique name. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> Gigi does something every podcast. She gives some tips, right, Gigi? Okay, give us some tips. So you listen. So what do they yeah. tips? I did say tips. Tips! Woo! All right. <laughs> yeah, my tips are spreading joy. Always. Spreading joy. Here's some tips on spreading joy. I think she wrote these because of you, Tanner. Oh, yeah. Always be positive. Uplift yeah. others whenever you can. Uplift others whenever you can. Mm -hmm. Give lots yeah. of compliments. Give lots, Give lots of, compliments. of compliments. He does that. Yes, I love that. Smile as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Make, make others laugh. Make others laugh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Always be polite. Always oh, be yeah. polite. Listen cl closely to others. <laughs> yes. And listen closely to others. Yes. Yes, those are nice. excellent. What do you think of those, that, Tanner? Do you like those tips? Just, have a bad day. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're good, aren't they? They are good. They are good. Those were excellent. They are. They were excellent. Do you want to add anything to that? Any tips about being happy? Do you want to add any Spreading other tips? Spreading joy. Spreading joy. You have any other tips? Uh uh. You don't? I don't. Okay. <laughs> she no, hit them all. In the head. They were all right there. She learned <laughs> them good. from you. I was going to say, that was pretty all encompassing. That was pretty good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, do you have anything else, Tanner, you want to say before we sign off over here? Yes, sir. Hey, thank you. Hey, hey th th thank you again. Th 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 thank you. Oh my the, 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 and and remind, me, remind me of your name again? I'm Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Thank you again. I'm glad, we, I'm glad we talked to each other. I'm, I'm glad we did this. I'm so glad, and I can't wait till we meet, because it will happen, yeah, I brother. Either. I can't wait till we meet either. I believe that we will, and I believe you will go fishing with Franco, and then Sammy. I believe I'll go fishing with Franco, too. And oh, then yeah. Sammy will get to yeah. meet you in person. 
That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to meet Sam in person. Yeah, make sure you bring Sam. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, she would not allow it to happen if I didn't. So, yes. Thank you so much. And you did an amazing, amazing job today. Yes. And yes, the- I did. Thank you, Franca. Thank yeah. Very yes. So nice to meet all of you. It's so nice to meet all of you. So nice to meet you guys. We're so blessed to have you. And we will see you whenever. As soon as we can all get ourselves together, we will make it happen, won't we? Yes, keep spreading that joy, brother. Gigi, it was so nice to meet you. Me too. Awesome. Thank (laughs) Thank you, guys. All righty. Bye. Everybody is born with a little something extra, and sometimes they just have to find it. A little something extra is that superpower that every single one of us has inside that motivates us and drives our passion and and makes us do the things that we do. We're all on the same team. Let's think about how we can make that team as inclusive as we can. For those of you listening to our podcast right now, you can also check out our video podcast at a little something extra podcast.org.